What is wireless debugging? Have you ever wished you could test your Android app without being tethered to your computer? Well, that's where wireless debugging comes in. This feature allows developers to connect their Android devices to their development machines over Wi-Fi, eliminating the need for a USB cable. It opens up new possibilities for testing and debugging your applications in a more flexible way. To get started, you need to know about the core component called Android Debug Bridge. This is a command line tool that facilitates communication between your computer and your Android device. With wireless debugging, you can extend the functionality of Android Debug Bridge to work over a Wi-Fi connection. Now, let's talk about the requirements. Your Android device must be running Android version 11 or higher for phones or Android version 13 or higher for televisions and wear operating system devices. Both your Android device and your computer need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network to establish the connection. Pairing your device with your computer is simple. You can use a QR code or a six-digit pairing code generated by your device. This replaces the traditional method of authorizing through a USB connection. What are the practical applications for app development? First, you can test across multiple devices at the same time without being limited by physical ports. This is especially helpful if you are working in a team or testing various screen sizes. Second, you can move around freely during testing. This is great for testing features that depend on location or sensors, as you are not restricted by a cable. Third, you can avoid common issues with USB drivers or port conflicts that often arise in shared development environments. Setting up wireless debugging is straightforward. You need to enable developer options on your device, turn on wireless debugging, and then pair it with Android Studio or use Android debug bridge commands. Once connected, you can use standard workflows in Android Studio, such as running or debugging your app, without needing to change any code. Troubleshooting is also made easy. You can monitor log outputs or set breakpoints wirelessly, just like you would with USB debugging. This feature is especially important for apps that requiring testing in real-world conditions, such as augmented reality applications or Internet of Things integrations. However, there are a few considerations to keep in mind. Security is a priority, and pairing codes or QR codes ensure that only authorized computers can connect to your device. The stability of your Wi-Fi connection can also impact the reliability of your debugging session. If your Wi-Fi signal is weak, you may experience delays. In some cases, you may still need to enable USB debugging initially on certain devices for pairing, although newer versions of Android may allow you to skip this step. For those creating app tutorials, Demonstrating wireless debugging can be a fantastic way to show its practicality. For instance, testing a map-based application while walking around can visually illustrate its benefits. By integrating wireless debugging into your standard Android Studio workflow, you can see it as a seamless upgrade to your development process.